I'm Josh Cox. Today we're in New York City doing the Runner's World cover shoot. Today I was demoing a lot of the exercises, the core exercises that our group does up in Mammoth Lakes, and today I'll be showing those, sharing those with you. Basically, this is the standard plank exercise. Here you want to be sure that your back's straight, butt's glutes tucked under. You usually hold this position for 30 seconds to a minute, maybe a minute and a half, before switching to the side plank. Usually, again, you hold this position for 30 seconds to a minute. A lot of times, a variation of this is if you put the feet down side by side, we'll go around two, three, four, five, and back up where you're working all of the abs and obliques. Ryan Hall likes to hold here. This is the quarter. Ryan Hall hold. Again, it's just isolating the oblique on this side. And we do the same thing for, for the other side. Back, run it through. You do a hold here, hold here. And then we come back to the middle and hold again for another minute. And again, the, another variation on this. Maybe for the second set, we go through the first set, do standard plank. The next set, we do plank with the extended arms. Our next exercise would be the bird dog. Usually, uh, if you have a towel or something to put underneath your knees, unless you're a glutton for punishment, and you just like your knees to be on hard service. Again, here, what you want to do is go right arm, left leg, here, and go up, two, three, and hold. And here, you're not saying how high you can lift, you just want to reach your arm out as far as possible and reach your heel out as far as possible. Getting as straight and stretched as, as you can. Usually hold this for a six to 10 count. Back, touch, and back up. Again, and hold. And the idea here, you do six to 10 of those, and then you switch sides. Again, reach as far forward as you can. Reach back with the heel as far as you can. Get a full body stretch. Really squeeze the glute while it's up. Feel the burn. Come back down. And up. And we do that six to ten times. Typically after that, we go through and uh, you can either go to push-ups at this point. Again, it can be any sort of variation you like. Sometimes we'll do like 15 standard push-ups. Other times we'll, we'll go uh, We'll start down, we'll go halfway up, all the way up, halfway down, all the way down. And then you reset, halfway up, all the way up, halfway down, all the way down. Or you can go halfway up, all the way up, and then do like a countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then halfway up, all the way up. And next one, do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up, halfway up, all the way up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And so on and so forth until you're down to zero. Uh, next thing we do, we roll over on our backs. Put your heels together, knees together. Cross your arms, you want to be, just have your shoulder blades touching, arms crossed, keep your knees together, and really fire that glute up as far as you can, and squeeze it, and you'll feel the burn here, all through your lower back, your glutes, even your hamstrings, and you'll do a hold, say for 30 seconds to a minute, then you go up and down, one, Really two, really squeezing at the top. Four, five, six, seven. Do that for about 15. Then you go back to another hold for 30 seconds for a minute. Maybe do 15 more up and down. Another variation we'll do, say on the second set, 
is we'll go one, one leg out, and we'll hold. Same thing, we want to keep the knees side by side, we want to keep the foot dorsiflexed, bringing the toe towards the shin. Then we can go up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and hold. Stay for another 30 seconds. You can switch, do the same thing. Again, this is what the pros do up in Mammoth, so <laughs> whatever variation you find that's good for you.